Jane. I'm a chef and nutritionist. I have a business called Mary Wellness and I teach people how to eat healthier and improve their diet related diseases through food. My food basically is healing in a way that it's, I don't use additives, I don't use white sugar, I don't use a lot of meat. Besar di kawasan dengan konsentrasi warga keturunan Afrika di Detroit, Michigan, Mariam Jamaluddin sempat bekerja sebagai pastry chef selulus kuliah. Saat mengambil master di bidang gizi dan sains makanan, ia menjadi relawan pada sejumlah organisasi pengembangan komunitas yang membuatnya tergerak berkarir di edukasi gizi masyarakat. My main goal was to bring food for low income communities. Recipes and cooking techniques for low income communities they could cook on a budget because a lot of them were raising their kids, their grandchildren, some of them were foster children they were raising and they really didn't have a chance to eat healthy because they didn't know. Lewat situs marywellness.com, individu dan korporasi di kawasan Washington DC, Maryland dan Virginia bisa belajar membuat makanan sehat sederhana. Tersedia juga langganan berisi meal plan atau resep mingguan dan berbagai panduan serta tips. I have been using services by Chef Maryam for over five years. Together, we organized cooking demos, lunch and learns, and nutritional consults for our employees. Sejak tiga tahun lalu, Maria menekuni pencaksilat di Silat Martial Arts Academy. Walau pernah mencoba seni bela diri lain, menurutnya hanya pencaksilat yang menawarkan konsep penyembuhan dan meditasi. Tambahnya, ini pun bermanfaat bagi dirinya sebagai seorang Muslim keturunan Afrika Amerika, minoritas di dalam minoritas. I think as an American, especially being indigenous with all the trauma that we have, and we have a lot of trauma. Ever since I've taken Silat, none of that is a big deal for me anymore. Like even with the COVID, like it really, it, it helps all of that. And you don't have to respond to them. You don't have to react to them, but you can respond and let them flow. Acknowledge and let them flow. Tergabung dalam American Culinary Federation, organisasi chef profesional terbesar di Amerika Utara dengan lebih dari 15.000 anggota, Mariam ingin membawa keragaman pada industri kuliner yang masih didominasi chef pria kulit putih. Juga mengedukasi warga tentang budaya kuliner Afrika Amerika dan mempopulerkan soul food, hidangan khas warga kulit hitam Amerika yang berakar pada era perbudakan tapi dengan versi yang lebih sehat tanpa daging atau lemak babi. So I just take those skills of cooking and make food exciting and um, bring my culture along with it. So it's kind of a fusion of like soul food and uh, foods I've experienced from Asia and Africa. Tentunya tanpa melupakan akar tradisinya. Dari Springfield, Virginia, Ariat Nebudianto dan Rere Wahyudi, VOA. Aku mau belajar bikin ini.